Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is the first video that I am recording in weeks at this point because I have been so busy and I've just really not felt like editing anything. So here I am doing an easy type of video to get myself back into YouTube. I've been finding it very weird not having filmed anything and not posted anything. I feel really out of the loop with YouTube videos. I've been watching a lot of travel vlogs and summer holiday vlogs, but I've not been watching much booktube content. I don't know, I think my brain just needed a break over August. I keep talking about work being super busy and that is still the case. I don't see that stopping anytime soon, although in September I do have some time off work. I've got eight working days off in total, so almost two weeks. And while I think the days that I w am working are going to be really busy, I'm hoping because I've got a long length of time off, I should be able to switch off. And I'd really like to get back into the reading zone, booktube zone. And I'm also thinking about starting something for a second channel. I don't know if I'm definitely going to do that in September though. It might have to wait until towards the end of the year, but that's something that I'm really looking forward to. And it's kind of making me excited, so. It's keeping me going, it's good motivation. Speaking of motivation, I am trying to motivate myself to get back into reading because it's been quite difficult for me lately. I really annoyingly bought a new camera back in July, I think just before I took a complete break. Since then I've not been recording anything and I've not been reading much either. I think in July I read like four books and in August, I'm not sure how many I've read. I haven't really been keeping proper track, which is also really weird for me, but I'm trying to motivate myself. I'm hoping recording videos will motivate me to read, that reading will help motivate me to record videos. So so it's kind of like a symbiotic relationship, at least in my head. So I've picked out a bunch of books that I'm currently interested in reading. All of these really excite me at the moment and that's really good. I might swap them out depending on what my mood is. I am wondering if my mood reading TBRs aren't really working. I keep saying, oh, it's okay to swap it out. That might mean that I'm not reading anything, which is also okay. It's just maybe that's not the right path for me to go down, but we'll figure it out. So I have, I think I've got like 12 books here that I'd really like to read and a bunch of, on my Kindle from either Kindle Unlimited or other things that I have already downloaded from NetGalley. I've also got this entire TBR that I do need to start getting through. I have a whole project on that coming up. I started the project and then I got into a massive slump, life slump, reading slump, book slump. So I've not really done anything with that project apart from film the intro. <laughs> so I will get to that. But these are the books that I'm most interested in reading right now. So where should we start? Let's go with the lighter stuff at first, I think. I would really like to read Honey and Spice. This is a contemporary romance book set in the UK, I think. It says it's quite popular on TikTok. I don't have TikTok um, downloaded on my phone, so I don't know. When this first came out, I was very interested in reading it. So I'm glad that I finally picked it up. I think I got it from the works for quite cheap. It says here that it's about someone who is a radio show host. She's got a summer internship in New York. Okay, so not set in the UK. She needs to form a fake relationship with a handsome player who is at the top of her hit list. So I'm really in the mood for some romance books at this point. So I've just finished Abby Jimenez's new book and that was perfect. So I'm hoping this one is going to be really good as well. I think I just need some lighter stuff for the end of summer and to get me into the reading zone again. Also a very light, I hope, book is Done and Dusted. This is a TikTok book and I've seen this everywhere. This is the first book in a trilogy. I think. I think this is a best friend, brother, brother's best friend, small town romance. There are cowboys. <laughs> That's all I know about it. Do you really need to know much going into these kinds of books? I'm hoping it's going to be good. I love the titles for this series. I also quite like the covers because it's kind of like dot art. I don't know if that's what you'd call it, but if you can see, it's like dots. I don't know. Maybe you can't tell. Did you see how quickly that focused back on my face, by the way? That's why I got this new camera and the microphone works. <laughs> It wasn't working on my old one. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this one. I've also picked out a reread of a contemporary book that I read 14 years ago, something like that. That is Catching Jordan. This is a sports romance. It's YA. From what I can remember, the main character is a teenage girl and she is on the football team and she's kind of like one of the guys and no one has ever really seen her as someone that they could date, someone they could have romantic feeling, feelings for. This is the first in a series and I never actually carried on with it. So I want to reread this and then see if I want to carry on with the series or if I'm okay just leaving it at this. It depends if this book holds up. Do you think I'll probably like it? But we will see. I've also picked out a couple of thriller books that I have out from the library. I do have a library haul coming up in the next couple of weeks. I'm recording it today and I just need to get around to editing it afterwards and they're both by the same author and that is the author is Will Dean so the first book is The Last Passenger which I think I've shown before on my channel so he released this one first and this is set on a luxury cruise liner and I think there are murders or something probably 
I don't really know what the plot is because I don't read the plot for thriller books, but that's what it sounds like. It's a murder boat mystery. And then I also have The Chamber, which is his newest book. And this is a deep diving, scuba diving survival thriller. And I love those at the moment. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I did start to read this and I didn't get very far, but I read the glossary and it's kind of long. And so it scared me because it talks a lot about saturation diving and all of the terminology there, like bibs, o-ring, tup, unscrambler, dsv, dps. And I just was not in the right brain space while I was struggling to read. I didn't really want to get into it, but now I feel like I'm ready. I'm really excited. I think I'll probably read this one first and then read The Last Passenger just because this one intrigues me more. And that's what mood reading is all about. And then what should I go with next? I would really like to read A Deadly Education. So this is the first book in the Scholarman series. It's set in a magical school and the school is trying to kill the students. I did start this one as an ebook and it was back when I wasn't really reading ebooks. I was really struggling to get into it, but I feel like September is the time where I really want to read like college, university, school books. So that's why I put this one on the list. It's quite short. And what I really liked about it was my edition has a map and I quite like the sound of the banter as well. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a go and hopefully I like it and then I can read the rest of the series at some point. Not anytime soon because I'm awful at finishing series which leads me nicely onto my next book. I would really love to read Wisteria. This is the third book in the Belladonna trilogy and I absolutely loved the first book, absolutely adored it. The second book was good, kind of great, but not as good as the first one. And so I pre-ordered this. I received it really late because I'm cursed when I pre-order books, but I'm really looking forward to trying this one and finishing off this series. I hope it's gonna be good. So I don't really wanna go into loads of detail about what it's about, just look up Belladonna. It's like death and a murder mystery. I would really like to finish this one off very soon so that then I can say that I finished the trilogy and I will feel somewhat accomplished. I am really bad at finishing series, so I would like to strike while the iron is hot as they say. So I'm looking forward to that one and I hope I give it five stars because I really do love the characters in this. I do need to recap Foxglove, the second book first because I've not done that and that was silly of me because now I've forgotten a lot of the plot. Like, I remember the basic like premise and what happens but I can't remember the finer details so I'm gonna have to flip through that, recap it and then read Wisteria. I would also really like to read A Study in Drowning. I got this one back out from the library recently because it was just sat there so I was like I'm gonna pick it up. My friend Justine read this one I think she said in 24 hours which is wild. I've got no idea what it's about. I just picked it up because of that and I'm hoping that I read it really quickly as well. It says something about fairy king and fae or fairies are not my favourite topic but if Justine liked it I think that I will too so we'll see. And then lastly I've got a mixture of genres for the last three books one of which or one of the books I'm currently reading and that is The Last Astronaut. So this is a space horror book and I'd really like to get more into space horror again. I was really enjoying that genre a few months ago. I feel like autumn is a really good time to get stuck back in. I've got so many space horror books on my shelves I just don't want to overwhelm myself and get confused with all the sciencey stuff because every author does it a little bit differently. So I'm gonna start with this one or start again with this one. I've read one book by David Wellington before really enjoyed it. That one was called Paradise One. The sequel to that is coming out in November and this one is about, so I don't really know what it's about but I've read the prologue. The main character called Janssen, Janssen, she was part of a space crew who were heading to Mars and then in the prologue they there is a warning sign and she goes to investigate what is wrong with the ship. There could be a fault or something, which wouldn't be good if they get any further away from Earth. I think they just pass the moon and then she's like, I'm gonna go and have a look. It turns out that one of her colleagues is, I, I don't really know what's wrong with the ship. One of her colleagues gets burned by hydrazine and that's flammable and the flames are invisible. According to this book, I don't know if this is accurate. And so she watches him burn to death by invisible flames before she has to cut off that part of the ship and like float it out into space. So I thought that was really cool and I'm kind of hooked. So I'm looking forward to carrying on with this one. I would also really like to finally carry on with The Science of the Girls. I did start this and I think I got about 50 pages in and it was a really easy read. This is a retelling, The Battle of Troy, told by the women's points of view. I really enjoyed what I was reading. I, ha I was really enjoying what I was reading and I just put it down and didn't pick it back up, but I'm going to, and then I'm gonna pick up the other books because I have a feeling I'm going to love this one. And then finally, the last book is one that I don't really know much about. I just picked it up from a charity shop because it was one pound and then I thought it sounded good. So this is called Light Seekers. The tagline is, they already know who killed the men, what they don't know is why. And this one is set in Nigeria and I think it's like a murder mystery, um, which I wouldn't have really gotten from the cover, to be honest. I don't think it's historical 
necessarily. It says here that three students are brutally murdered in a Nigerian university. Their killings and their killers are caught on social media. The world knows who murders them, but what no one knows is why. And then there's a trial and a psychologist. The psychologist is an expert in crowd behaviour, apparently. And then he travels to the town where it happened and starts investigating. Will he uncover what really happened to the Okriki Three? So yeah, looking forward to this one. Sounds like a really good mixture of mystery and crime fiction and psychological as well. So yeah, I've not really heard anything about it. If anyone does know much about this book, tell me what you think. It doesn't seem to be very popular and I've not looked it up on Goodreads, so maybe I'm wrong, but that's just my impression. So those are the books that I'm hoping to read. I also really want to get to TJ Newman's new book because I've not read that yet. I think that one's called Worst Case Scenario. I also need to finish off the novella in the Serpent the Wings and Night Wings of Night series before I read the second book, Ashes and the something Starcursed King or something like that. I'd really like to keep that going while the momentum is hot. Um, I really like the first book and I'll talk about that more in a wrap up. So yeah, I've got a few ideas of what to read. I hope that I can get my reading mojo back. I'm feeling quite good about it, to be honest, and the time off work will definitely help. I'm really hoping, like I said at the beginning, to get back into reading, get back into booktubing. I've got several books that I would like to post recaps for. So I'm going to make that my focus, I think, of the week that I am off. I'm going to recap the second A Good Girl's Guide to Murder book because my first video is doing really well. People seem to really appreciate the recap. I also want to recap Serpent in the Wings of Night because I really want to talk about it. And then I also probably need to recap Giddy in the Ninth at some point, but maybe that one can wait for a bit because I don't think the fourth book is coming out anytime soon. So let me know what you'll be reading in September in the comments below. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!